Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's of which is on the Breeze and Ogrum of Brain Attack from 2013. So, what is the bag seat? Lego logo? Hero Factory logo, but sideways this time, and picture of the sets that come within, and with Maka Hero City in the background, and also the names of each one, and either the game points for the online game, and also so one brain plot included in the set, of course. And then also get age group, set number, amount of pieces. And on the back of which, you see we have the set again, showing the features of them, and also so the combination model that they make, of course, and also actual size of the helmets and masks of which and also the points for the online and online game app games that there are which I think might still be around on your app stores and everything and that's it there. And now onto the manuals which on the front of the manuals same picture as on the front of the bags and everything comic strip of how it all went down and also, what to do kind of comic strip thing with the Lego figure, which first time introduced into the, to the manuals. But yeah, on the back, win on the online survey. And then add of Lego clubs, add for Scarox and Bulk, of which, of which next, next throwback Thursday, of course. Add of the combination model that there is. Then add for the online app games that there are and if it's still there scan the code of course scan the QR code of course and then out of the like brain yourself kind of app that there is and then the pieces that included and then the last steps see larger version of that And so now, starting with Breeze, or otherwise, fourth version Breeze, of course. Which, as you see, Lulz has the shorter limb pieces, different than that of Breeze Breakout, of course. And also, get about two of the new armor pieces, but in, or armor piece, four, size four armor pieces in trans green quite nice you know not sure why I make silver a second color for this one no, or whatever although I think, I think there should have been some more green to that since it's breezes color of course but also build a witch similar to that rockas but with the shorter armor pieces instead of course and also, armor pieces, all the heroes have, and Quasi Core, same as Breakout, of course. So, reused for like four waves in two years, of course. But yeah. But also the Door Lock Clamp Switch in dark green and light green spikes of which, a little different and nice, of course. And that's the armor witch, basic and all, but also you get a saw blade piece of which, acting as a shield, kind of cool. And as for the main weapon, which, as you see, uses two of these other pieces of which, and connecting to the fire villain blades, but in silver, which also nice to have for that. And also, as the bag, back of the bag set shows that, you can like detach it and make it as a double blade or something. So she, which quite customizable, of course. And also on the back of which, now he's re totally using that uh, narrower uh, chest plate piece to make her 
bit more feminine than Break Breeze Breakout did, of course. And also just like Raka and all and also Bulk Will too, but with that bit to add the shield piece onto a course. And headpiece and visor piece, same colors as Raka did, but the helmet different. But this time around, looks kind of similar to that of Breeze 1.0 Breakout helmets, but instead it's in silver, but also with some odd uh, slight mocks to it, of course, like this little slit for the visor, of course, but yeah. I guess they made it like that to fit the visor, of course. And also, to men forgot to mention, is also the spherical piece from Breakout, of course. Probably still there from the Breakout version. Not sure if that's laziness, but whatever, or whatever. Although it would be nice if it was also included on that, or maybe that'd be making her too bulky, but yeah. And although I do think these lower limb pieces those should have been in green, which, or light green, which Surge in the Last Wave also had, but whatever. And that's it. Breeze. And now on to Ogrum, or Ogrum, or whatever. That well, from the ground up is, do you get the traditional foot, or Paraka feet pieces, but the spiky ones, first time in dark brown, which nice for mocking and everything. And also, also, do you get the size 3 armor pieces, but in dark green, which the uh, Krager Ultra Build set for Chima later in the year also had. So, at least it was kind of a 6 month gap of getting those. And also, do this now. Same armor piece that Breeze also had, and but also has the like mini paracas vines in dark brown, probably to represent like vines coming off him or something. But yeah. And as for the chest or body area, which has the traditional armor piece, but in dark green, which is great for mocking, of course, and also came on the uh, Krager Ultra Build figure later in the year, of course. And then Black Phantom Ultra Build chest plate piece, but in a uh, gunmetal gray, also nice. And as for the arms, which on one armor, which just traditional pieces, and also same spherical piece for that, and also the Savage Planet uh, pot pieces, but in brown, also nice to have for mocking. And also a few technic bits here to make up the handle of his mace, of course. And has a few chain pieces and also makes a mace piece, same as for Black Phantoms, but in a gunmail gray. Nice to have as well. And, and kind of swirl, twirl, and whatnot. And as for this other armor, which same stuff going on, but also with Exoforce arms, but acting as fingers. and also, some more of the mini Brock spines acting as longer fingers, of course. And as for his, uh, his uh, face mask thing, it, as you can see, quite well, interesting and all, but also extra bits to add the separate uh, spike pieces onto, of course. And if I can also get one brain bug. Piece, but in light green compared to Scar Roxes, which was in dark green, of course. And then on to the back of which, see a slight bit of coverage from the brain's tail, of course, but connected on there, onto that, like the Paracas spines, of course. But yeah. And so now, final vert. So overall, I think these which are pretty good sets for the time, like Breeze, which is sort of a bit of a downgrade from the last version that there was, but 
Philly's got a few good free colors, which Ogrum also well did. And also interesting seeing some uh, character like him in Hero Factory, of course. Also, reason which good reuse of or of a helmet or a good use of a helmet piece that is kind of similar to her original ones, but which you'll kind of see later with the rest of Brain Attack, of course. But yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.